I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club. It could be up for grabs. Well, no damage done. Well, so close to getting that early goal there. But it was a wonderful save by the keeper, you have to say. Well, on the back of that breathtaking piece of goalkeeping, can they keep the ball and create? And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Had a two. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. And here's how it looks for Marseille. It's the impressive Paul Lopez between the posts. Jordan Veretou plays alongside Valentin Rongier in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Alexis Sanchez. A Juve free kick here. And the starting lineup for Juventus. Wojciech Szczesny stands between the posts. Angel Di Maria starts with Federico Chiesa on the flanks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Corner for Juve. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Under a fair bit of pressure. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Well, Dimitri Payet, such an eye catching footballer. And Stewart, I wonder what part he might play in the proceedings. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Textbook defending inside the box. Alexandro. Beautifully weighted ball. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Payet. Valentin Rowe to the keeper then. The Bianconeri have given it away. Must take the lead here. They weren't going to get past Bonucci. Can they convert? And the keeper tied in to thwart him. A very effective challenge put in. Federico Chiesa. Chances on. He's foiled them on his own. Vlaovic, real chance. Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Rabio. Rabio! And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Over it comes. Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling, and they get the due reward. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. 1 0 then. Alexis Sanchez. Take it away. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Weston McKenney, promising looking ball. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. 
Good movement. Can he finish? Oh, the keeper had to concentrate. Let's see about the delivery. And a bit short with the clearance. Oh, he's missed the chance to extend their advantage. Well, it was a decent effort, but not quite good enough to extend their lead. Valentin Rogier. Now Vertu. Payet. Wenduzi. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. And he keeps going. Not messing around with that clearance. Chiesa. Now with Di Maria. That is that for the first half here. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Alexis Sanchez. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can they take advantage of the situation? Chance, maybe. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Di Maria. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, capable of so much better, to be honest. Well, I expected more as well, Derek. I thought from that sort of position, he had every chance of scoring, but it's a poor effort. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. A Juve free kick here. Quadrado. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Quadrado. Well, no damage done. 30 minutes left for play. Jonathan Klos, well read to win possession back. There's a slide draw pass. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, let's have a look. Look at this pass from Di Maria. He has so much vision and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. 2-0 now and back underway. Plenty of room for Marseille in the wide position. And let's give credit to the defending. It's going to be a Juve throw. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Weston McKenney. Di Maria. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. A foul, but advantage played. Matteo Guendouzi. 
Back with Sanchez. Can't miss, surely. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, 2-1 it is here. in the way once more and the referee has given the corner so maybe scope here for them to add to their lead well they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity well they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one and being pressed here when doozy and into the last 15 minutes of action here. Opportunity it is. Oh, fine stop. Corner kick played in. Still not clear. Rabio. Quadrado. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Not all that convincing defensively. Could be it! Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Moyes Keane. Opportunity! And a good take under duress there. Well, I think the fans are doing everything they can to get their team back into this. But can they find that moment of inspiration and get an equaliser? Juve throw in forthcoming. McKenney. Di Maria. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. Not giving him a moment's peace. Jonathan Close. On to Genduzzi. Suarez. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. He's got space. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So, full time it is, and a morale-boosting three points.